Hello, and welcome to The Fit Show. I'm Hannah Gordon, bringing you another update in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. On this week's show, we go once again to San Diego, California for part three of our leg series with IFBB professionals Garrett Downing and Derek Farnsworth. We also have an In the Kitchen segment with IFBB fitness pro Cynthia Sitalowicz as she prepares some of her favorite healthy meals. But first, let's head back to San Diego. Welcome back to The Fit Show. We're beginning with our third exercise of our leg training today. We're going to start off with hack. Uh, Derek Farnsworth will be spotting uh, Pete Ciccone, and I believe Pete's going to start off with two plates. We're going to emphasize teardrops, so foot placement on the platform is the key here. We're not necessarily concerned about weight here, but just really strict form, making sure you're squeezing as you're going up. So let's get ready, guys. You guys are ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. What you see Pete do today will be a little bit different. As Garrett said, we're going to work the teardrop. Pete's legs are pretty fatigued evenly, so he's going to go for about 25 reps, but he's going to change his placement. His feet are together right now. We're going to work our sweep first, and then what he'll do is about halfway through, he's going to go to the uh, teardrop, because as he stated about 10 minutes ago, he said, my legs are fully depleted. So rather than injure both, he's going to do half and half and just totally fatigue him out and burn him out totally. So, all right, switch in. Not too wide. All right, Pete, what you got? Come on. Five weeks, let's go. Big teardrop, come on. Right up, nice, good. You can see he's not banging this time, he's slowed down. So you can see he's focusing on that teardrop, he's flexing it up. We got, we got Joe here ready to start, and uh, you know, I think Pete's trying to pull his punk card here. Pete just did 25 reps, and you know, I think Joe's gonna have to do 25 plus, you know, maybe 30, but we'll see what happens. This is where the shit talking really comes in handy on a leg day because you know you can't sandbag and do less than 25 reps because you know you get shit talked about you the rest of the workout. Come on. Three. Come on, Joe. Four. Five. You know what you got? Four or five more in you? Come on. Eight, two, one, good. That's 28. Two more make a 30. That's good. All right, right now, I guess, discussing where you want to put his foot placement. So with me, we've worked sweep enough today, so I want him to hit his teardrops. I'm going to have him turn his toes out. More teardrops, squeeze him in again, yep. And again, like I said, it's what he feels comfortable with his toes out. Everyone has different flexibility, so I'm asking him to turn them out as much as he feels. A little higher on the platform, you're shorter. You ain't as short as me, so. See him all moving around like an old man and everything? Is that what happens when you have kids? Is that what Sean Ray gets to look forward to? Creeping around? I know you're watching, Sean. I'm not picking on you. Know, just, I know you had a baby and everything, so come on. See, nice smooth rhythm. He's not banging, he's flexing him. Good. Come on. I think uh, Joe just did 30, so I don't know. You got a little ways to go. What's he got right there? Nine? One third of the way. Come on. He's at 30 right now. He's playing the challenge game, so come on. Come on. Come on, flex him. Two. Three. Oh, he's going to make me work the next set, I can tell now. Four. Good, nice set, nice set. We got 36. Oh, we got Derek here up here. He's going to do the set. Originally, we were planning on doing three sets, but what started off with Joe turned into a competition. We're basically doing rep for rep, and each person that does an X amount of reps, the next person that comes on has to do more. So not only has Derek taken on more weight, but He's got to do more than 36 reps or meet my 36 reps that I got in my last set. So we're now only going to do two sets because it's just going to be all reps here. Come on, D. As soon as Derek gives us the cue, we're going to pull a plate on each side. Come on, D. Pull the plate. You want it? Okay. Holding. Come on. Come on, D. Oh, 
Oh, that was good. That's real good. We got Pete Ciccone up right now doing his set. Pete's now set the bar at 40 reps, so regardless of what happens on this, he's not getting off of this hack squat until he completes 40 reps. So whatever he gets with three plates, we're gonna start pulling plates as needed until he gets to 40. Come on, Pete, let's hit it. Get your mind right, come on. I gotta follow, Pete, I gotta do 42. Six, seven. Pete's talking about being on low carbs right now, but you know what? It doesn't matter. He's got a show to do in five weeks, so what we're here to do is just to push him through this no matter what. And he's not getting up no matter what. Mm -hmm. Come on. This separates the men from the boys, Pete. Come on. Pete's up to 35 right now. He's got five more reps to go. Come too far now, Pete. Don't throw it in. Come on, because I got to follow. I got to do the same shit. As much as I don't want to. Come on. Come on. All right, you guys remember Joe's the one who's kind of started the numbers game. So as he's been saying right now, it's time to suck it up because now he's got to do 41. He's got to beat 40, so it's kind of dug himself his own grave. All right, Joe, come on, show them what you got. Let's go. Two, three, four. There we go. Nice, smooth. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Eight. Nine. Last one is 30, right? Come on. Maybe one plate, but after doing 30 reps, it feels like a ton. Come on, finish. You want that first place, let's go. Here's 40, that's 40, now what are you gonna do? 41. Uh-oh. Every rep from now is gonna go right into Garrett, so. Two, three, four, five, nice, 45. All right, if you guys missed it a second ago, Garrett was hoping you guys wouldn't see this because now he's gotta do 45 because the little guy of the crew He's gonna bury himself, come on. Garrett hates legs, you can just tell. That's why I like that day. Saturday morning cartoons with Garrett. At 20 reps, good, come on. It looks like hell, but it is fun. 20 reps, just under half, come on. Whatever. <laughs> Gary just said he needs a stunt double. Nine. Ten. Pull that one. Forty, right? All right. How many is he away? Five. Who's up after him? Ah, oh, damn. Five. Four. Three. Two. And you're going to stop on two? You got to be kidding me. Two more to tie, Joe. That would be 45, right? Get back there. Come on. I won't say what he just said, but that's all right. Come on. He just spelled Joe's name out to Boston. How many reps is that total? 49. Oh, thank you. So I got to do 50. We got Derek in the last, last round of his last set here. He's gotta do 49 plus, but I'll cut him some slack. I'll let him get away with 40 because he's doing a little bit more weight than I'm doing right now. So Derek, let's see what you got. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. He's got 34 right now. Home stretch, Jake. Come on. Oh. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How was that workout, guys? It's pretty hard, wasn't it? Hey, we've just completed the first half of our leg workout. We've actually completed our quads. Tune in for the next episode of The Fit Show where we go into hamstrings and we've got a few extra uh, surprises in store for you when we go out to the Gold's Gym parking lot in San Diego. Well guys, another great leg workout. Now let's head to the kitchen with Cynthia Sapolowicz, fitness pro, so she can fix us up some of her favorite healthy meals. I'm Cynthia and we're back in my kitchen with The Fit Show. Today we're going to be making some Maui crab salad. Um, I actually got this recipe 20 years ago when I first got my start in amateur bodybuilding uh, before I switched to pro fitness. Um, I'm currently an IFBB fitness pro and I compete on the pro circuit in fitness and I also like to do strength shows. So. Um, Let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you one of the meals that I like to use when I'm preparing for a contest. Okay, so this is uh, the Maui uh, broccoli crab salad and uh, the main ingredient of course is broccoli. It's just uh, fresh broccoli. I've already cut it up and rinsed it and it's here in the bowl ready to go. And the next ingredient then I use is just some imitation crab meat to add a little bit of protein to the salad. So what you'll do is you'll just take it and you'll shred it up. And there's not exact measurements with this, you're just going to kind of put it together how, how you see fit. So I usually like to put a little bit extra crab because I like to get a little uh, extra protein of course. So as we know that's always important, never get enough protein. And I use this salad in conjunction with um, some of the other meals that I made previously. We made the chicken strips, so I might eat the chicken strips along with this salad. So we'll just uh, shred up the imitation crab here. And then I like to add just a little bit of flavor, but I don't want to add um, too much uh, sugar, but I'm adding some craisins, so they're just basically dehydrated cranberries, just to add a, a little bit of flavor. And then we are also going to put a little bit of walnuts. You could also use uh, raw almond slivers if that's what you prefer. So we'll throw those in there, and just putting you know the amounts that that you like. And then the last thing is that we're going to put some red seedless grapes. And I like to cut them in half because otherwise they're kind of bulky to chew up with the broccoli and everything. So I cut up as many as I like and we'll put them right here in the salad. And then the last thing then to hold that all together will be um, some non-fat mayonnaise. I like to use the Smart Beat mayonnaise, so it's just non-fat. I don't use too much of it, but just enough to kind of make it all stick together. So we'll go ahead and get it. It probably ends up being, um, for this amount, probably about a quarter cup. So we'll put that all in there. And then we'll add a little bit of um, sodium-free seasoning. Mrs. Mrs. Dash is my favorite. So this is the herb and garlic, so we'll put a little bit of that in there. And we'll just mix it all up, just disperse the, the mayonnaise the, the best you can, and you'll get that all stirred up in there. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like in the end. And you do want to refrigerate it for at least four hours before serving it or taking it anywhere because that helps to kind of hold it all together. So when it's all done. It looks like this, and it's just a variation of how you can eat your broccoli and make it tasty and flavorful. So, and that is it. So, thank you for joining us on The Fit Show. Again, I'm uh, Cynthia Sitalowicz, and we'll see you next time. That wraps up another episode of The Fit Show. Be sure to tune in next week for another update in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Until then, I'm Hannah Gordon. Thanks for watching.